Perhaps if I lighten your pockets before we race, Sir Lancelot. The best knight won. You mean king? Until I find a queen. Not if I find her first. Join us tomorrow. I hear Lady Botigany's going. Oh, I'd rather not be cursed by your forgotten conquests. Tide's coming in. Let's get back. Still telling bedtime stories, my lord. Your moderate needs a mother. Father's love only goes so far. Night draws in. Lancelot. Do you hear that? Over there. Stay with the horses. Uh, lady, this is no place for one so gentle. Come. Arthur married Guinevere, and she became the queen he always desired. He then spent the better part of eight years fighting a brutal, bloody battle against the Romans. He took his bravest knights with him to save Camelot, leaving his son Modred in charge. After winning the battle in Rome, Arthur, tormented from the torturous and gruesome battle, now rests with his knights in France. Ooh! 
On my proposal. Camelot. Oh, yes, Camelot. Not for me. Word comes south of a Saxon threat. I can't expect young Mordred to lead our country into battle. He has the knights. What more does he need? An army is nothing without his father's guidance, the king's guidance. There is no king without Excalibur. It is not the sword that made you wiper. It's abandoned you because you've abandoned yourself. Martha, it's time to go home. <laughs> Look around, my friend, huh? We're already home! Now's your chance, good sires. Arthur the Sword, King of the Britons! And this is not king. This man fights like a blacksmith. If he's a king, where is his army, huh? We are his army. What? Good. Prove yourselves, eh? Give your children something to be proud of. My children are not yet born. But the way he fights, I fear they never will be. Face like yours, but the same fear. <laughs> you! <laughs> I can't fight you. I do not want to fight you, but I'll have you on your back quicker than any man. <laughs> you wanted to go home, eh? Oh, to be king, eh? Lucky bastard. It's not like good, Tristram. You want to stop licking his ass? Might have to wipe it himself. Please you. Lay with me. That's all I ask. Put your clothes back on. I'd have thought a dagger in the back would be more your style. Come, my lady. This is an evening for revelry. Do not be sour with me. The nobles are gathered, Sir Mordred. Thank you, Thomas. I'll be alone. Just meekness, my lady. 
It's not becoming of such a gracious creature. I'm neither your lady, nor your creature. Don't go anywhere. If anyone should be blessed, it is I. Bless me. You're blessed. Sit, my lord, sit. Rest your weary soul. Fetch more wine. Wench their thirst, why don't you? My lord, we're not here for your wine. Or your wry observations. We understand you have business with us. My lord. It's not far from here, the place where they grow the grape. You should taste it, Lord Bedivere. The business at hand, sire. Taste it. It's good, is it not? Thick. The business. Sire. King Arthur is still on the throne. Lord Arthur. Who sits on the throne? Camelot has no throne. Our king takes his seat at the table equal to all his knights. And where are these knights? Where is this table? Do you see it? My lord. The table has been destroyed. But not by me, of course. By my woodsman. He refused at first, but then I threatened to decapitate him with his own axe, so... Arthur has abandoned us. And for what? Warmongering opportunists. He fights for honor. This wench has more honor. He fights for Camelot. He fights for himself! Fights for himself. We are under threat, my lords. A Saxon army masses on the other side of the water, and our king, your king, my father, has abandoned us. He has left us to the wolves. Where is the honor in abandonment? Where is the honor in neglect? But now the war in Rome is over. Arthur will be back amongst us soon. Before or after the Saxons spike your head to the gatepost of your hall, he would not abandon us. He already has. Ortigone, skulking again. Not skulking, Agravain. Listening. Perhaps you should try it. One day it might save your life. Lord Mardred is right, these are dangerous times. But thanks to your so-called lord. <laughs> Dangerous times indeed.
easy. This one's mine. We will break bread with our Saxon enemies, not bone. Embrace me, lords. This is our new world. I will not be a part of this. We must let Camelot die so that we may live. I would rather die than let that happen. Easier said than done. Or is it? I've trusted you. All the more reason to call him a fool. This is treason. No. This is loyalty. Who's with me? Who's with me? the matter? Never seen a real woman before? Few that tried to hurt me. Sorry about your friend. Ah! If not now, Arthur. Who sent you? Tell me, who sent you? Or I'll slit your throat. I very much doubt that. Who sent you? You really have no idea, do you? Quite the voice she has, fit for an angel. You tell me she lives. As much as one can live, as a prisoner. Lord Marjorie does enjoy his treats. You're going to find a boat. As soon as you can, sail to England. Take a horse directly to Camelot. I have a message for you to deliver. I'm not some errand girl. What makes you think I would do that? At least your friends were dead when they lost this. And how do you expect me to deliver your message if I can't talk? Tell Modred to release her, or his tongue will be the least of his worries. If you succeed, you will live a rich, fruitful life. I'll make sure of it. We'll be right behind you. My own blood. Mordred is but a boy. A murderer. And he's making a play for Camelot. Oh, my dear Guinevere, if he's laid a finger on her, I'll kill him where he stands. Mordred's influence stretches farther than this safe. Percival, send a bird ahead. Tell Bedivere to gather a handful of men, only the most loyal of the table. Your most loyal men are here. In this room, it is not enough. Send the bird. Tell them to ready themselves and wait. We head for the coast immediately. Thank you. Thank you. I do not charge for my company. Trust Guinevere knows none of your vices, my lord. You call me not your lord. Would you prefer an insult? No, I'd have preferred if I'd not let one of my men be killed. It is not your fault, Arthur. <sighs> it's hardly the behavior of a king.
now you rule us for my bloodline. Naive? Just like your husband? You know not what he's capable of. Dead men are but dust, my queen. Capable of nothing. I understood your affection for Arthur Randy. Until you turned his cheek from mine. I've never had any need of friends, my lady. It's not friendship I offer. But I can give you my mind. Of what use is that? <laughs> How am I supposed to eat that? Stand up, you bloody fools. Welcome home. Up, I tell you. We're not home yet. Which way are we headed, my lord? The safest way. Lead on. Is this all, Sir Benedict? I'm afraid so. Not like you to show up, Sir Lucan. Oft found duck in the fight, are you not? Behave, Sir Tristram. Where are the others? Tell me my father's dead. You will find my father, and you will return him to me. I know not what they write. Well, Tigany! The girl needs your assistance. Show her Arthur's path. And if you fail me again, I will slay your peasant family and leave them to rot in their decrepit hovel. Is that understood? I shall not fail you, my lord. Where's it taking us? I know not. Camelot. Not yet. Are we stopping, Lancelot? I've a rumbling in my stomach. We'll eat when the bird stops. Good to see you, my lord. We always prayed for your return. The war was long. Camelot has suffered greatly in your absence, my lord. You should count yourselves lucky. You won a great victory, Arthur. If you say so. Halt! Where did it go?
silence. I could get used to that. You might have to. The great sages of the past kept their secrets close. But it is written. There is a volume alluding to it. Legally binding. Follow the scripture, my lord. And you are the law. been in worse places. You don't want to hear about your failed female conquest, Percival. There's magic in there. Look at it. I'd sooner dip my cock in a witch's cauldron. Quiet. We go on. Way. Are you sure, my lord? No such thing. Walk up. Tether your horses. We'll make camp here for tonight. Bedivere, I'll leave the fire to you. Look and Rana, find some meat for the pot. Aye, proper scrap. And get some rest. When your bellies are full, I'll need your counsel. Is there a problem, my lady? I sense an unease, a belief or a longing, perhaps. Yes, yes. That's what it is. False hope. Alas, your ignorance won't save your so-called king. And if that treacherous bastard does make it back to Camelot. You will die by my hand, and you will bow to me, your eternal king. You. 
my queen, my whore, night after night on your knees by my throne. Am I waiting? Should be riding to Camelot now. I don't understand why we're still here. You ever needed to question your king before, Sir Tristram? Question not his wisdom, Bedivere. Merely his intentions. Dark shadow now rests on his heart. Sir Branagh, your lands are closest to Camelot. Tell us what we may expect. Mordred waits for the Saxons. Yet without him by his side, you still failed to protect the throne. We were too few, Sir Tristram. They needed us. And where were our brothers when we needed you against the Romans? Protecting our families. You made safe your own lands while the heart of England rotted. That's enough, Tristram. Mordred's treachery was unforeseen. The nobles who follow him are ruled by fear and greed. And now would you know that? Sir Lucan. Slander. I said, that's enough. I merely speak what we all feel. Tristram! These cowards seem like they don't want to fight at all! <laughs> Enough! Waste not energy mourning the unknown. This place is magic. You're distracted from your cause. Poison doesn't help. What is my cause, Merlin? You need not me to answer. I fought a war, and I, I cannot remember why. I sent 10,000 men to their deaths, and the reason has been lost. What better reason than home? A home I have not protected. Tavern fights, laying with women I cannot recall. Only a fool would call me a king. Your men are no fools, Arthur. They're all men. Not mine. I hear them. Their gossip. Fear is what you hear. Of losing their leader. No leader would fail to raise a loyal son. Mordred shares your blood, Arthur, not your destiny. Excalibur was my destiny. Even that abandoned me. And it will return to you when you're ready. What if I'm never ready? Then you pretend to be until you are. Your king. Whom do you serve, Sir Tristram? Serve you, Mother. For my dying day. And you've forgotten who you are. We've all forgotten who we are. We kneel on ancient ground, sacred ground. This is the circle of Avalon, where the very code that we live by was born. But you are wrong to bow to me. Your duty is to Camelot, my lords. Your duty is to each other. Our duty is to each other. 
Rise. Rise from your knees. Take each other by the arm. And remember who we are. Remember what we stand for, what we fight to uphold. Rise and remember we are more than men. We are knights. Chosen to protect a kingdom. Chosen to protect a people. Chosen to protect Camelot. We are more than men. We are more than brothers. We are knights of the round table. your wits. I, I, I knew not what to do. What did you see? Who did this? The woman said. My lord, I, I failed him. I failed you. Any others? No, say. Tristram. Better be a seeker out, return her alive. Modred has made his move, now we must make ours. Nothing, my lord. It's not without reason. One by one she'll hunt us until she has me alone. Our queen can wait no more. My lord? Tell Vortigany I want to be wed by the week's end. Modra has imprisoned the queen and captured the throne. Time waits not for us. You travel on foot. You? Why not we? You cannot risk losing more men. I shall travel alone. We're two days out from Camelot. We must travel undetected. My lord. On foot, I said. No horses. No horses. We must be vigilant. Take the road less traveled. And if anything separates us, we'll find each other again. Underneath our castle's hill. As the sun dips into the ocean on the second day. A great tragedy is coming. Such are the spoils of war. That we fight on for Camelot. For Branham. For Branham. Away with the horses. Up early, Sir Lancelot. Don't sleep when Camelot is safe. I need you to head west. To Merthyr. I chance you'll find Sir Kay there. Tell him to gather as many true men as he can and meet us at the castle hill. My lord, we have marched side by side since we left these shores. 
I'm not about to leave you now. You're not leaving me. You're following an order. My lord. You're a good man, Lancelot. My loyalist of friends. As long as you were king, what I am has no bearing. You won't last, you know. This new, nailed god of yours. I'm not sure it's going to take cold in Britain. Is there something I can help you with, my lady? Our Lord Madred is getting word. Congratulations. In the eyes of the church. So he intends. I was not aware his belief veered to the Christian faith. He looks to please the Saxons. Who is the fortunate lady? Queen Guinevere. The heart wants what the heart wants, brother. But she is already wed to our king. Not in the eyes of the church. I cannot believe Queen Guinevere would have part in such a facade. She'll do as her king commands. This is treason. Think sensibly, Brother Cedric. You will see that Madred is wed, and you will crown him king. Of your fool, we tried to take Arthur's throne. I need her to quit the monk. You must be tired. Oh, I'm used to marching, young Alexander. Though a horse never goes amiss. I don't mean that, I mean... Tired of fighting. That's what we do. What was it like, Rome? We never made it into the city, but... I heard the stories, no doubt you did too. What about the battles? They fought with honour, unlike our Saxon friends. Should I fear the Saxons? Saxons fight like animals, Alexander. Like feral wolves. They'll eat you alive, given half the chance. Mordred's guard, or worse. Calm down, Sir Luke. You'll scare the lad. Nothing wrong with a bit of fear. Don't trouble yourself, young'un. We're off and loose. Go on. These fish know not their suffering. Their destiny is not their own. Such is their place, young Modred. You used to bring me here as a child. You remember? It's funny, isn't it? The Queen of Camelot, and yet she does not even love the future king she is to wed. You will marry me, or I will kill you. But first, you will provide me with an heir. You think you're way the king? <gasps> Mordred is wrong about you. He thinks you're a traitor. The truth is, you're nothing more than a murderer. Where were you while my father was fighting to keep Camelot safe? I offer a thousand thanks to your father. On behalf of all of Camelot! Look at the other thousand slain. Whilst you drank your ale and ravaged your women. And now, just because you're called the white wizard, you do to see fit to return. You know nothing. I fight only to protect our land and the queen to whom my heart belongs. I fight for my father. Uh, 
Let me go. I shall write your suffering. Oh, but it is not just me that has suffered. It was my choice. You'd be dead already. I must keep my end of the bargain. Does everyone enjoy pain as much as your queen? Do not tempt me to show you. I need not be shown. Every night I hear his screams. And unlike you, Madrid will not tie off a Your fear offends me. Fear only I may kill a lady. Lady? You speak of the wrong woman. You will kill Queen of Ed. God, forgive me. Do you mind? It is my castle to explore. As is your body, my queen. Not so brave now. My body is no more yours than the throne. Where does a boy, who thinks so little of himself, find the nerve to claim the very honor that scares him so? To steal the role of a man who puts terror in his heart? Child, your father is coming, and when he does, and you're down on your knees begging him for mercy, you wonder why you, a pathetic little rat, ever decided to take so much and leave so little for the Camelot you betrayed. Tell me, are all Arthur's men so fragile? Who do you speak of? No one, my queen.
can't be real. Fear not the truth, my lord. Come closer to me. You look so cold, my love. Tis I, Lancelot, and I would not harm you. Camelot. My lord. Welcome home. No sign of Arthur. All Lancelot lost the beating of me. I didn't think you'd come so easily. Voltigany enjoyed your taste. Or should I say, the one who got away. Camelot thinks you're strong, Sir Lancelot. But we both know the honor that drives your sword. I could not have asked for a finer wedding gift. Tell me, how is my father? He cares nothing for you. You don't think I know that? You don't think I've always known that? The hall is mine. Queen, my 
country. They killed a girl. A warrior whose father gave his life for our land. You did what you had to do. Look upon me! I am no king! I talk, but do you listen? A king does not mourn his own betrayal. He does not fight so others can rest. He does not survive because he fears death. He endures so that he can protect his people, his country. But most of all, he endures so he can empower those who cannot, who dream of sitting at the round table beside the man they spend every minute of every day aspiring to be, so that they, one day, can be every inch that man, you, their king. you offer but once you're asleep she's gone Merlin. she's gone only if you believe it so I did enjoy playing with the rats emotions all locked up Bedraggled. I wonder if news of our imminent wedlock will draw my father more hastily. Killing his bastard son will be drive enough. <laughs> you should try that on. But I'd sooner wear rags. You will play nicely, or you will watch as I dismember him. the wedding forward a little. Your ladies will be attending presently. Make sure you're bathed and rested. You shan't be getting any sleep tonight.
Is it true? I am a lady. He keeps them in a cell below the ground. You'll have to hurry. The guards will be back soon. Keep the doors locked. Tell any visitors I pay. My lady, it is too dangerous. Am I not your queen? your touch, my dear lady. I'm Norn's lady. Tell me that you don't feel the same. What about Arthur? The Saxons near as the wedding approaches. You mustn't allow it. Say no, sweet Guinevere. It's not my choice to make. I must go. I shall find a way. Have faith. swinging their tiny cocks about. Fear they will eat us alive. Did your mothers never warn you about playing in the rain? <laughs> Ready for blood, my lords? No! Saxon nobles have set sail. Then stock up the wine. That is ready for a wedding. And what of your bride? The scriptures say once made king, he can remarry. Then after the wedding, I have no more use for her. Perhaps you could get rid of her for me. Another petty favor, my lord. It is worth all the favors in the world become my queen. Make her suffer. I must admit, Vertigone, I did not think you'd stoop so low. No. I've stooped much lower, my lady. Ask your husband. A lucky escape, I think he called it. Shame the same can't be said for yourself. You have no idea what is coming. Do you think I don't on Madrid? Or consider his heart? He has the same weak blood as his father. The Saxons will eat him alive. Finally, with me as queen, 
Camelot will be the envy of all Britain. And yet, no one will love you. Hurry along. Your fiancé waits. My lord, it is not too late. To banish yourself, I wonder? You do not have to go through with this. You are a prince. One day, perhaps, Camelot will be yours by right. Correct me if I'm wrong, brother, but you took the purse I offered you. I only offer counsel, my lord. That's the problem with your sword. You think you're better? What do you call it? Enlightened. But you're not. You're just like me. So take your purse and keep your counsel. Well? She is on her way, my lord. Then let us not keep our wedding guests waiting any longer. Bring in the meat. Passed through a village. All the talk was of a great feast tonight. We target the Great Hall, that's where he'll be. There is a cave, not a half a mile from here, that leads us directly to a tunnel. A storm drain that takes us into the heart of Camelot. Now we take no prisoners, we show no mercy. Anyone tries to defend Modred, let them choke on their own blood. And if we fail, failure is not an option. We cannot let the Saxons rule with an iron fist over the people who make Camelot what it is. My lords, I have not been the leader I aspire to be. King is a crown I have not always borne with ease. But I could choose no men with whom I'd rather share a fight today. The honor is mine. Our world is changing. Some are bringers of change. Others have change thrust upon them. But we must all adapt to it. We must all embrace it. And today I ask you, I urge you, to embrace a change for the good. Applaud your queen. When we get through, get straight to your positions. But leave Marvin to me. Kneel with her, my lord. I knew you'd see sense one day, my lady. One day you'll be on your knees, begging for mercy, my lord. 
We are gathered here today in the presence of our Lord God. If you are not with me, you are against me. Safe. Only if we act fast, brother. And today is truly special. For today we are to witness not just a union, a coronation. Let us proceed. Do you, Lord Modred Kyleon, take this woman to be your wife? I do. Daughter of Koroid, take this man to be your husband. My lady. Say the words.
Your heart cares not for you. You're not a king. Lancelot is. going to save me. It's not safe here. What about Arthur? We have to go. You stupid ones. You wanted to kill me. You wanted to take my crown. Let's see what kind of a king you really are. Take my crown. Take it. Take my crown! Please. 
please, Lord, have mercy on yourself, please. <laughs> Never, ever utter that name again. I am your king. You hear me? Your king and nothing more. No, leave. Leave, Camelot. Tell your sex and friends what they can expect if they come here. up your brothers. We will give them the honor they deserve. Hang the rest. Hang them from Camelot's walls. Let the crows gorge on them and the Saxons away. I will not fight another war today. You honor me, my lords. You honor yourselves. I am your king, but this is our kingdom. This is our Camelot. Hail! Hail! Hail, King Arthur! Hail! Hail! Hail, King Arthur! 